this thing on? Is it on? It looks like it's on. What's up YouTube? I am recording on my new camera. This is the DJI Pocket 2. I keep calling it DJI. DJI Pocket 2. Okay, <laughs> that's the name of this little tiny camera. I'm using it right now. I think I got it in a 4K setting. There's a bunch of different things that I want to do with this camera. A bunch of different little tests and stuff. Um, so, first test right now is going to be the wide angle. The wide angle is on right now, if you have not noticed. There's a little bit of a curve to the camera. And I'm going to take it off and see what that looks like. Oops. I just messed something up. There we go. See, now the wide angle is off. I don't know if there's any difference because I won't know until I edit this. But this is no wide angle. And this is the wide angle on. All right. So that's the first test. Um, I'm going to go out. I'm going to walk in the forest a little bit. Um, see how the stabilization works with this camera. I also want to test the 4K and I also want to test the there's different settings. There's a setting for high quality and there's also a setting for battery saver. I don't know what the, really the difference is really. I'm guessing high quality looks better um, but the high quality doesn't allow 60 frames per second so it's like a give or take. So I want to do both. I want to try the 4K with 60 frames and I also want to try the 4K with the high quality. I want to see which one is better in that in that sense. I also want to do a um, test of like seeing how it does with like action, like things moving really fast. Probably not going to do that right now in this video, but um, probably in another video I'll do something like that where I'm recording fast moving things, you know, see how that really looks and how that works. All right. Um, before we get going, one thing, I actually did this video already. I had 10% battery on this little camera here, and it died. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck is going on? And I was messing around with it, trying to get the microphone. This is the microphone, by the way. Um, I was trying to get everything to work, and I didn't know how to get anything to work. I was mad confused. All it is, you just got to make sure it's charged. Everything works, like, super duper easily. It just syncs super easily, super quick. So it actually worked out pretty simple. Once you, once you charge it up, and make sure it's good. All right, so the setting right now I have it on is 4K 30 frames per second. All right. Yo, peepus, does this move? Oh, yo, I'm moving the camera. This camera is seriously. I feel like the biggest thing with this camera is how cool it is. There's so much tech with this camera, and like for me, like I I love tech. I'm a big tech person, so. I can just move the camera down so now I can move right on me yeah there we go I'm a big tech person so I always want to have all the coolest tech and stuff and I can also switch up the stuff and now no matter which way I move the camera it's always on my face there's a lot of different settings to this a lot of different really cool things that you can do with this and now it's going to follow can I put it on my face can I get it to follow my face I don't know how to do that one uh, hold on, I'm gonna put on a setting real quick and then it can follow you. It follows your face. So, watch this. Alright, so right now I got the face tracking on. And as you can see, the camera is following me in any direction that I go. To me, this is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's I'm not moving the camera. I'm not moving the camera at all. It is just following my face. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life. Alright, now face track is on. Great. Alright, so I'm just walking right now. Um, the only thing, I'll just say a quick little thing right now. Um, a couple of things. I can take this mess off. Um, there's not a lot of features in terms of like, changing the, the scene, the color, the color scheme. And I mean, you, you can mess around with the ISO and mess around with the shutter speed and things like that but it doesn't really do much honestly like i'm comparing this to when i was using my canon g7x and there was a lot of um things you could do with that to make to make things look better and whatnot hello how's it going in terms of messing around with the settings and things like that you know it's not so easy on this you can do it it's just not easy and it doesn't really seem like it does that much. Like it's honestly, it seems simple and it seems more simple to just keep it on auto and just not mess around with any of those type of things at all. Which is kind of, I don't know, 
It's kind of weird. Oh, is this the way I gotta go? Uh, can I turn the camera around? I turn it around. But, oh, nice. This is not where I'm going, though. I'm not going down there. That looks dangerous. back on that's not the way to go um so while i'm walking here i want to test out the microphone because you could probably barely hear me right now so let's turn the microphone on and see if the quality becomes better the microphone is on testing testing can you hear me how do i sound do i sound super loud do I sound good? Do I sound bad? I don't know. I'm gonna clip this on. Clip this on my uh, little thing right here while I walk. People are probably looking at me like, "What is this guy doing?" But um, yeah, I'm using a microphone right now. This is the external mic. You can. It's wireless too, so you can move it anywhere you want. I can put this thing down and run far away, and it will still hear me, which is really, really awesome. So testing that out right now and I'm continuing to walk there's a couple of people around Let's see how this looks this is also using a wide angle camera so you can almost see me really well this is nice Let's switch this around let's take a look at how it looks on how it's how it looks um, in terms of the stabilization. Looks good. Now this is the way I need to go. Oh, almost bust my face. There's somebody down there. Ah, I guess I'm not going to be alone. So this is actually a really good test to see how good it is with stabilization because uh, this is a very unstable footing right now. Also, I still have the wide end going. I'm going to take it off in a second just so I can really compare the two. I really hope this looks good. Five hundred dollars for this whole setup. So this better look good, huh? Right? This better look like a movie. <laughs> also, I got it set up right now, uh, 4K and uh, 30 frames per second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take off every, all these settings at some point. <clears throat> take off the wide angle and uh, switch 4K to 60 frames per second. So that would be the highest quality that you could possibly get for this thing. All right, so this is what it looks right now. Let's change up the settings real quick. All right, so right now I got it set up high quality, 4K, 30 frames per second. So apparently you're not allowed to this camera to put the high quality setting and put 60 frames per second, which is weird. You would think high quality would keep the highest amount of frames and everything, but apparently you can't. I also took off the wide angle attachment. So, um, you know, you should be looking at what it would normally look like with this camera without any wide angle. There should be no curves, nothing. It should just look clean cut. What am I saying? I don't know. Let me try and like get some real cinematic type stuff going on.
tilt lock. There we go. Turn for microphone. How does the sound sound? <laughs> this is using the microphones on the camera. This is not using the external mic. So it should sound a little bit worse, apparently. I don't know. We'll see. But again, this is the camera microphone. You're listening. Let's see if you can hear the water. So it's windy right now. I wonder how that sounds. This is a pretty good test. I'm gonna switch to 60 frames per second, see if it looks any different, okay? This is the highest you can get on this camera. I think it automatically switches to battery saver mode when you do this, because apparently you can't use 60 frames per second with the high quality setting. I don't know why, but you just can't, all right? So, Let's see, does this look any different? Are you noticing some more frames or something? <laughs> I'm assuming this probably has something to do with like when you're moving things really fast and you want to catch more frames. If it's just, you know, you normally moving around, it honestly shouldn't look that much different, really, you know? But if I was to like record like some, some type of fast moving things, I could see why the 60 frames would be more useful. But, not really. Again, I won't really know until I'm done recording what the real effect of all of this is. But, yeah. Alright. Oh, wow. I just found out you can pause your video. I can pause? Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad cool. You can record, you can pause in the middle of a recording and continue where you left off. Yo, that's dope. So instead of like making a bunch of different videos, you could just make one video. Oh, that's fire. See, listen, man, I don't know how this video is going to look or what the quality is, but literally I'm learning all these different features of this camera and it's super amazing like all these there's a lot of really cool features that this camera has and that's to me to me that's the biggest selling point behind using this camera hmm. let's put the camera back on me active track is unavailable at 4k 60 frames okay but you don't got to actively track me. I can track myself. All right, so I'm just walking. Uh, what else did I want to do? I did the microphone. I uh, did the little uh, 4K. I did this uh, 60 frames. I did the 30 frames. I did the high quality. I think it's still on high quality right now, so I should be looking extra crisp. Yeah. Extra. 
extra super duper crisp. I'm looking around. This is guy over there. What is he doing? What is he doing over there? What is he doing? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna bust my face. Let me stop. That's super cool. I could just flip, flip the camera like that. <laughs> It seems like, honestly, this seems like some real high-tech, expensive joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all automatic. It does what it needs to do without you having to do anything at all. I'm holding this wide angle. Let me put the wide angle back on. Look how, watch, look how easy this is. Clip. Wide angle. Look at that. Done. But, uh... Well, you can also see your uh, space on your camera going down as you're using it. Really interesting. All right, so I don't know how much more of this video is going to be in the actual video, but I think this is enough to wrap it up. Um, is there anything else that I am missing? I kind of want to see like the colors of things. So let's just get a little bit of, look at how I just did that. Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing ever. I could just flip the camera. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some of these colors, see how these colors come up on the camera. I'm also, I'm not using my phone. Um, another feature that you can do with this camera that's really cool is um, you can connect it to your phone and um, you can have, you can like display the actual camera screen on your phone. And so you can like basically operate the, the, you can operate this camera from your phone, essentially, like wirelessly. Like, come on, man. Like, how many more cool features do you need? Like, it's just like. It's a field. Only thing I wish they could do, I wish they could have made the screen bigger. That would have been amazing. This would be a 10 out of 10 camera if the screen was bigger somehow. 100%. But it's also super duper easy to hold because it's so tiny. You know, I'm just holding it in my hand like it's nothing. You know? So that's also another factor to take into account. But uh, that's about it. This video is going to be mad long. I got to edit like three different three different videos because I didn't know at first that you could just pause that's like the coolest thing ever all right so again thanks for watching um stay tuned I'm probably gonna be doing this a little more often because this is honestly I'm not even gonna lie man this is a lot easier than when I was using the g7x g7x was a lot more to hold and to focus on you know this is kind of automatic it just does what it needs to do it tracks your face I mean, I, I got to put it on 30 frames in order for it to track my face right now, but it has a gimbal. So honestly, even if I move my hand all over the place, it's still going to be in the same frame, you know, basically. So I really don't have to even think about where the camera is. It's just doing what it needs to do. It's, stabili it's stabilizing everything right now. You know, it's just a very little cool, you know, uh, automatic autonomous camera. It just does what it needs to do. You don't have to do anything. That's kind of nice. Nice. Stay tuned for the next couple of videos. I'm not gonna hit my camera. <laughs> this camera, you can't. I mean, you can try to hit it, but like, I don't want something to come off. All right, let's test it out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the camera. Why am I hitting the camera with a gimbal on it? It's ridiculous. HDR 2700. <clears throat> 2700. Uh, Pixels, I don't know what the hell you call it. Whatever. This is the highest you can get for this camera. Does this look any better? I don't know.